Do you want to make money by creating sponsored content? I'm talking about getting companies to pay you to create content. I'm saying money, 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 money. Dollar bills, y'all. I guess I don't have enough of it. I need to watch this video. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, this is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I show you how to grow your influence online so that you can have an impact on the world. I do this by creating content each and every weekday to help you grow your online business. So if for some reason you are still suffering from that disease of unsubscriptionitis, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you can be notified whenever I create more awesome content. Disease gone. And today we're talking all about sponsored content and the reason we're talking about it is because of an interview that I just posted on my blog with Monica Pruitt. Now I'm going to encourage you to check it out after this video but I want to get into some tips that you can apply from this interview. So Monica broke down her nine steps to rocking sponsored posts and those nine steps can be found in the acronym READ paint now let's go through the read part that's r-e-a-d and then the paint p-a-i-n-t this isn't a spelling lesson what am i doing all right so the r stands for research before you can go into pitching the the, the brands and companies you want to do some research and in this research you want to be able to determine what is important for you what is important for your audience and what is important for the brands so by digging into your google analytics you can get an idea of who your audience is who are the people that are visiting your blog what are they doing when they visit your blog there are a number of things that you can do to research your audience research the brand and then that will set you up for success as you move on to the next step. Monica's next letter was E for equipment. Now if you're going to be pitching brands, it's going to be able to show them that you can create quality content. And the world is much more visual than it ever was. Wait, is that true? It sounds good. The internet for sure is much more visual than it ever was. So by investing in decent equipment, you know, a camera, lighting, when you take your pictures, it looks so much better and you can present yourself better to the brands and the companies. So that's R E. What's next in read? Oh yes, A. The A stands for avatar. In order to pitch these brands, you want to know exactly who your target audience is. And by creating a detailed avatar, you're going to be equipped with that kind of information to present to the brands. And then we have D. This stands for develop. Before you can pitch the brands, you need to develop an idea. What do you want to showcase about that brand? What experience do you want your audience to have? What makes their product or service unique? And how can you put that together in a compelling story that you can present to the brand? So we want to take some time and develop your idea. So that's the R-E-A-D. Now the thing is, there's still the paint. That's five more steps. And I'm not going to cover all those steps in this video because I don't want this video to go too long. But what I want to encourage you to do is go and check out the episode at becomeablogger.com slash 309. That's episode 309. And Monica really goes into detail showing you how to do your research, how to, uh, what kind of equipment you should get, how do you create an avatar, and how do you develop the idea. And then she goes into all the paint stuff. What is paint? Go ahead and check out that episode, becomeablogger.com slash 309. And if you're on the blog already, it's right down there. The link, of course, will be in the description below. That's pretty much it for this episode. This is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com, where we're changing the world one blog at a time. And until next time, take care and God bless.